The most difficult question that every chemical engineering student faces during their student life is, what area should I specialize in? And it's very difficult because chemical engineering covers so many topics and so many areas that it gets very difficult for someone to choose simply one and work on it for the rest of their lives. So, in order for us to help you select one specialization area, we have compiled the list of top, top 5 specialization areas with the highest demand in the future. So do watch the video till the very end and if you do like it, then remember to like, share and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Life for our next videos. Thank you. A specialization area that we have at number 5 is data analytics and computational modeling. In the heart of the fourth industrial revolution, it is very difficult to identify a sector which is not being reshaped by digital transformation, and chemical engineering is no exception. And the field of chemical engineering is becoming more and more data-driven as we speak. And therefore, with the rise of these big data technologies, chemical engineers are now expected to analyze large data sets to optimize processes, improve efficiency, and ensure product quality. And therefore, the future of chemical engineering is indeed data analytics and computational modeling. Chemical engineers who choose to specialize in this area can be rest assured that they will lead a very lucrative and an important career within chemical engineering in the future. A specialization area that we have at number 4 is process safety engineering. Chemical engineers are surrounded by everything that is capable of not only killing them but also anyone within a 100 km radius. Therefore, ensuring the safety of chemical processes is a critical concern and safety engineers therefore are always high in demand today and will always remain high in demand in the future so that they can make sure that everything is running as safely as possible. And chemical engineers who choose to specialize within process safety engineers can be rest assured that they will always remain in high demand. A specialization area that we have in number 3 is material science and engineering. Material scientists and engineers focus on developing advanced materials for various industries including electronics, aerospace, automotive, healthcare and even manufacturing. And these professionals are instrumental in developing raw materials for a wide range of applications. And chemical engineers will always remain high in demand because of their strong expertise in chemistry, physics and engineering. And especially with the growing emphasis on sustainability, there is currently a huge demand and need for material scientists to develop eco-friendly materials and manufacturing processes, which chemical engineers can help them with. And with growing focus on nanotechnology, chemical engineers can work on development and application of nanomaterials, which is a field with immense potential in the future. The specialization area that we have at number two is environmental engineering. Now, due to the ongoing climate change crisis, every single industry is trying to move towards sustainability and renewability. They are trying very hard to reduce their carbon footprint and reduce their waste production. And chemical engineers who are choosing to specialize within environmental engineering are in very, very high demand right now. because. Chemical engineers provide the best of both roles. They are experts in process engineering and process optimization and hence at the same time with this specialization, they even provide expertise in environmental engineering. Therefore, chemical engineers who are choosing to specialize in this area can expect their demand to only grow exponentially in the coming years. And the specialization area that we have at number one is bioprocess engineering. In a way, bioprocess engineering is also related to environmental engineering because the main concern is to move towards renewability and sustainability. But the only difference is that in bioprocess engineering, you have a lot more focus on bioprocesses and biopharmaceuticals. And with ongoing concern and emphasis on biotechnology and biopharmaceuticals, bioprocess engineers are in very high demand because they are able to help the industries move towards renewability. And chemical engineers who are now choosing to specialize in bioprocess engineering can also expect growing demand in the next few years. 
And these are the top five specialization areas that we believe have the, have the best job prospects for chemical engineers. If you agree or disagree, then do remember to tell us in the comments below. But also don't forget to visit our website at www.chemanglife.com where you can check out our initiatives such as our free biannual mentorship program, our online courses, our webinars, and our ongoing podcast with different chemical engineers. At the same time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Chemical Engineering Live for our next videos. Thank you and have a great day.